wanna talk about this chair, man. This thing is crazy cool. Twig furniture. A lot of people call this Adirondack furniture, you know? Yep. Would have been up in like resort areas. That could be 100, over 100 years old. It's got a great look. I see it's got a major repair here. You know, what are you thinking? 8,000. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been around this stuff quite a bit. I mean, this one is a little bit different, but they're all different, to be honest with you, because they're handmade. Rosie's in my ear. She's saying five. 450, work with me a little bit. All right, I'll do 450. OK. Very cool. We love picking the East Coast because there's so much opportunity to find Americana at its best. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. I know where this goes. Yeah, that's, that's been in this store my whole life. I know that had to come out of one of Rosie's classrooms. She was a school teacher for 44 years. No kidding. Yeah, she taught the world to read. And if you look at the countries on there, yeah. they're so old that that's got to be from the 40s mm -hmm. or 50s. You know, yeah, you look yeah. at Europe and it's all The different. only thing is, I mean, there's a lot of loss of yep. just little pieces of paper all over the place on it where it's starting. But other than that, I mean, it's really cool. Cool enough for you to buy it? I'm in a selling mood, fella. 75 bucks. Tell you what, make it 100. It's vintage. I'm doing it. All right, awesome. Thank right, you. I'll do it, I'll do it. So you can adjust it. So I never even so, knew that so it adjusted. So Frank could see it. <laughs> <laughs> know it. Hey, Franks, look at this fine vintage Monticello distributing company. Oh, I like it. The Monticello Distillery was known for its rye whiskey. The company was named after Thomas Jefferson's house, which was in Virginia, but the distillery was actually in Maryland. Special reserve, it's all whiskey. You know what I like about this? I mean, it's got some nice color on it. But there's a lot going on here. It's got horses, it's got the hounds. It's a metal sign. I've seen these sell for like around $400. So I'm thinking like 250. How about 300? How about split it with me, 275? I think we can do that. Do that? All 275, right. it's all yours. I'm getting into the liquor situation here. I love it. What are you looking at over here, Frankie? I'm thinking this must have been your Grandfathers? Well, both my grandfather and my great uncle Joe were both dentists. I would probably say this was Joseph's just because it's here. They they actually use this as a as a means to hide the truck from this the street. This was part of the camouflage. Yeah. This would have had milk glass shelves that would have been inside of here. Yeah. This is a nice item. It has etched glass on the front. Has a marble top. This is a great piece. Well, can I make you an offer on it? Sure. How about eight hundred? How about? 850. Leaves a little on the bone for it. you, right? Yeah, you bet. This does it. Now that Matt's responsible for cleaning up this place, he's ready to get rid of some things that he's not emotionally attached to. I got that radiator from the 31 Chevy, Mike. I know you like that. Ooh, this is cool. I found this scale. How about uh, 35 bucks? 40 and it's yours. What do you want for the? for the Chevrolet grill. Uh, 31 Chevy. Yep. Got the badge. Car truck. The radiator's in it. I love car grills because I think a lot of the guys that designed the cars designed them from the grill back. What do you think, 100 bucks? So 100, 140. <laughs> All, right. All right, 140. All right, this is the second thing that's been sold out of this truck. There you go. Somebody out there is looking for this grill to finish their restoration. All right, Frankie. Their story is the great American story. To come here with nothing and to make something that supported so many people and that was such an intricate part of their community, that's the American dream. Thanks right. for sharing your family's history with us. I learned a bunch of things from them today. So some of this stuff is going to move, and other people are going to get to enjoy it. See you guys. Bye. Later, Matt. Bye, Matt. God bless. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.